Will this generation bring about a better tomorrow or cause humankind's inevitable downfall? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons why millennials are hated. You nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period generation period ever. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at reasons why some people can't stand millennials, which is essentially anyone born between 1977 and 1995. For the record, we're not saying that we hate millennials, However, there are definitely negative stereotypes that others associate with Generation Y. We're gonna keep on rocking forever, forever. Number 10, they want instant gratification. Don't care how I want it now. Remember when people went to the library for research and the video store to rent movies? Oh, how the world has changed. Now, thanks to the internet, we can access information, entertainment, and other services in a snap. Scott. Are you waiting for the package you just ordered? Maybe. Nowadays, it feels like there's an app for every conceivable first world problem. While this is certainly convenient, it's also spoiled many young people. Millennials are used to getting what they want with little to no effort. So when they face a dilemma that can't be quickly resolved, they tend to either complain or just give up. I demand to be housewarmed! Number nine, they're reliant on technology. It can't mean that. There's what, a lake there. I think there. it knows where it is going. This is the the machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's stop not yelling. yelling. Technology plays a huge role in our day-to-day -day lives. In many respects, technological advances have had a positive effect on the world. However, millennials in particular seem addicted to their laptops, mobile phones, and tablets, which is where much criticism stems from. Since millennials grew up around evolving technology, some just can't go a day without checking social media, streaming a video, or at least looking at a digital screen. Things can get especially ugly when a millennial finds out the Wi-Fi is down. Internet, so helpful. Since humankind went eons without the internet, would it really kill millennials to log off for a few hours every day? Then again, you can totally have a conversation with somebody in person using emojis. The English language cannot fully capture the depth and complexity of my thoughts, so I'm incorporating emoji into my speech to better express myself. Number eight, their priorities aren't in order. She needs to sort out her priorities. While some millennials find a good balance between their personal life and professional life, others suffer from a severe lack of work ethic. Millennials can be reluctant when it comes to studying, getting a job, or taking responsibility for anything. They're more concerned about partying all night, sleeping in until noon, and getting Firefly back on TV. Meanwhile, they don't think twice about education, finances, and securing a successful future. Technically speaking, you're bankrupt, kiddo. That sounds bad. Since their priorities are backwards, these millennials enter the real world unprepared. A millennial might claim that they're going to get their priorities sorted out later. Later can be a pretty loose term, however, especially if you dedicate most of your time playing Overwatch. Number seven, they're dependent on their parents. For the first time in over a century, people between the ages of 18 and 34 are more likely to live with their parents, according to a 2016 Pew Research Center report. Granted, part of that's because the job market and economy are so bad. Let's be honest though, some millennials just don't want to leave home and grow up. You live with your parents? Is that a problem? That's why they're often called the Peter Pan generation. Because I have to grow up tomorrow. Grow up? Tonight's my last night in the nursery. Even after a millennial moves out, mom and dad will still probably help pay their rent, taxes, and numerous other bills. Then when a millennial has a kid of their own, grandma and grandpa suddenly become on-call babysitters that must drop everything when needed. Number six, they aren't informed about the news. The current crop of 18 to 25 year olds is the most politically apathetic generation in American history. According to another recent Pew Research Center study, millennials aren't very well informed about the news and politics, at least compared to older generations. Within the study, only a small percentage of millennials recognized U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, while others were unaware how many Supreme Court justices were female. So why aren't millennials up to date on current events? Maybe it's because newspapers have virtually been replaced by Facebook's newsfeed, which isn't always a reliable source. Some would also argue that the school system has failed our youth. 35% can correctly identify Homer Simpson and the fictional town in which he resides. Less than 1% knows the name Thurgood Marshall. Whatever the reason, millennials often seem blissfully unaware about what's going on in today's world, unless John Oliver weighs in on it. Even if you only get your news from Facebook, Google, Twitter, or Ariana Huffington's block quote junction and book excerpt clearinghouse. 
Number 5. They're bad with money Since the economy isn't what it used to be, it shouldn't come as a surprise that some younger workers can barely get by. Even when millennials do come into cold, harsh cash, however, they don't always spend it wisely. Okay, just get the bare essentials. This is the last of our dough. Hey, what do I look like? Rather than saving their money for a rainy day or paying off their student loans, there's a good chance they'll spend it on a lavish vacation or a shiny new toy. It's 400 a bottle. Oh, well, in that case, I'll only have two. It also doesn't help that only so many millennials understand how to invest money or what a 401k is. To be fair, though, it's not like past generations have always been great with money either. After all, millennials didn't cause the 2008 financial crisis. Tell me the difference between stupid and illegal and I'll have my wife's brother arrested. <laughs> Number 4. They can't function without smartphones You used to call me on my cell phone While smartphones can help people stay in touch, many would debate that they're really driving society apart. Millennials in particular can't seem to function without smartphones and thus take them everywhere. Oh no, finish your tweet. It's not, that's fine. Just give us a second. Yeah. There you go. Hashtag it. If their smartphone gets lost or somebody takes it away, they might have a meltdown. In that sense, these devices are like security blankets for Generation Y. And here she is this week, a month after her father's deadly accident, texting while driving. Millennials frequently have their faces glued to smartphones, whether they're playing games, updating their status, or sending a text. Yet millennials ironically appear incapable of actually talking on the phone. Hello. Uh, it's hello. Oh. Number 3. They're offended by everything. Millennials are typically associated with political correctness, which has arguably made leeway for a more accepting world. While that's certainly a good thing, it's possible that millennials have become too sensitive. Oh, and so together, we have created Shameless America. Jerry Seinfeld avoids college shows because there's always somebody who finds a joke offensive and will demand an apology. Th there's a creepy PC yes. thing out there that really bothers me. It's one thing if a joke is hate-filled and ignorant, but some millennials interpret every comment as an insult. Whereas liberals, on the other hand, caught Steve Martin calling Carrie Fisher beautiful in a tweet and made him take it down. Did they ever consider that maybe we need to be challenged with something potentially offensive on occasion? Sometimes feelings need to be hurt in order to get a point across. This can get people talking and even help them become more open-minded in due course. Number two, they have entitled attitudes. You're special. You're very special, Jeff. You're the most special little boy in the world. Older generations have officially had it with millennials and their me, me, me mentality. Often, millennials grew up with a fairly carefree lifestyle, and as a result, they went on to develop unrealistic expectations and entitled attitudes, putting themselves on a pedestal. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. These millennials firmly believe that they deserve special treatment and privileges. In other words, the world should just be handed to them on a silver platter. The fact of the matter is that life just doesn't work that way. If everyone had everything gift-wrapped to them, we'd all basically turn into King Joffrey. You're talking to a king! Ah, and now I've struck a king. Did my hand fall from my wrist? Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. If you don't know who's winning, who gets the trophy? Everyone. It's a participation trophy. Number one. Every new generation is hated by past generations. I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was. The world is constantly changing in terms of politics, art, technology, and so on. Sometimes these changes are for the best, and sometimes they're for the worse. In any case, there is always going to be people that resist change of any kind. It's a condition called being a cynical asshole. Oh no! Since younger generations represent the changing times, older generations tend to dislike them. Generation X might hate millennials, but the baby boomers hated Generation X. Likewise, the silent generation hated the baby boomers, the GI generation hated the silent generation, etc, etc. Heck, millennials are already starting to resent Generation Z demonstrating that history simply repeats itself. At some point in life, we all find ourselves saying, you darn kids. Stupid younger generation. Back in my day, we had Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. That was real music. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.